Hey guys, it's Holly. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I do a lot of cooking, travel, homeschooling, and motherhood videos. And in today's video, I am back in the kitchen because I wanna share with you my recipe for crock pot turkey breast. It is that time of year, that time of year for Thanksgiving and the entire holiday season. So I thought it was a great time to be sharing this recipe with you all. This is a simple recipe. So if you feel overwhelmed with cooking for hosting holiday dinners, this is the recipe for you. And also with Thanksgiving coming up, let's say you're not hosting a huge group of people. It might be a small gathering. I love this recipe because it is still gives you your Thanksgiving turkey without having a huge turkey that you might not need to cook that much if it is just a small group for dinner. I love having this recipe for other holiday dinners. We usually do some holiday dinners with this recipe around Christmas time and even other times during the year. It's in the crock pot so you already know it's going to be pretty simple. Once you get everything in you don't have to do much. You just let it cook and then when it is done i am telling you this turkey comes out so good if you're familiar with cooking in crock pots you know just how tender and juicy your meats turn out after slow cooking it for you know however long let's get into the kitchen right now as i share with you my recipe for crock pot turkey breast I begin by mixing various seasonings into a small bowl. First will be half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, a half a teaspoon of dried thyme, half a teaspoon of dried sage, half a teaspoon of paprika, and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then I'm going to mix everything together. Next, I am going to be getting my turkey ready. And I am going to be using a three pound boneless turkey breast. You can cook this with bone-in turkey breast if you prefer. Then I will get my turkey breast out of the bag and get it all cleaned up and trimmed. Then I will put it in a bowl, pat it dry to get some of the moisture off with a paper towel. Next, I will add my seasonings to the turkey breast and rub it in as best I can, getting it well incorporated and massaged into the meat. Once the turkey breast is seasoned, there is an option of covering the turkey and refrigerating it for up to two days. Totally an option. You can marinate it for a day or get started. When I'm ready to cook it, I get out my crock pot and then I will be adding 12 ounce bag of frozen chopped onions. Now, if you wanna chop a fresh onion, you can do one large chopped onion instead. Next, I will add a one pound bag of baby carrots. And once my vegetables are all laid out on the bottom, I will go ahead and add my turkey breast laying it right on top of the vegetables. Last, I will add one 15 ounce can of chicken broth, or you can use chicken stock if you prefer. And that is it, that is all I have to do. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on, turn my crock pot to low, and let this cook for four to five hours. You can see after a couple hours, it's already starting to smell absolutely delicious. Once that time is up, your meat should be fully cooked, but if you want to double check to make sure it is fully cooked inside, your meat thermometer should read at 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, I will take out my meat here, and I'm just gonna slice this up right now to show you how juicy it is inside. You can see when I slice it up here just how great this turkey turned out. This is how I like my turkey breast to look when it is cooked. Still some juices inside, but just overall full of flavor and ready to eat. If you want to use the turkey breast for a recipe perhaps, you can also shred it. Because it is slowly cooked in the crock pot, it shreds very well. But if you want to dish it up and serve it for a holiday dinner, I usually add the vegetables as well when I serve it up. 
Now, if you don't think this is gonna be enough meat, you can double this recipe. I cooked it before with a seven pound turkey, just doubled all of the other ingredients and added an additional hour to the cooking time. It came out wonderful. Anyways, that is my recipe for crock pot turkey breast. You could see just how simple this was to make. And I'm telling you, this makes such a great dinner. You cannot go wrong. It's wonderful to have for the holiday season. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I post a new video every Tuesday and I have some more holiday cooking and baking coming up. Thank you for watching and may you have a wonderful day.